There are many famous mathematical space around the world and Princeton University is one of just famous mathematical space. The bond between Princeton University's math department, the fine hall, and the physics department, the Jarwin Hall is very well known since the day of Einstein. In fact, Einstein himself created uh, this bond uh, by uh, initiating the collaboration uh, between uh, professors of physics department, Jarwin Hall, and professors of math department, the Fine Hall, while he was working on unified field theory. I had a rare opportunity teaching uh, in Jarwin Hall and collaborating with some of the uh, professors of Fine Hall including Dr. Adam Marcus and Dr. Chang Alice. I use uh, Princeton as a space to make many of my students fall in love with math. So in this presentation I'll talk about uh, this presentation actually divided in two parts. Part one I'll talk about how I use uh, CUNY, the City University of New York and NYU, the New York University uh, as, uh, as a space uh, to, to become a teacher and how I use uh, in part two how I use uh, part two, I'll talk about how I uh, how I use Jarwin Hall as a math space to uh, make my student uh, to plant a dream in the mind of many of my students to become the next Sir Isaac Newton, the greatest mathematician in the world. Um, so let's uh, let's start the story number one. Truth to be told. I work as a security guard here in New York City for 15 years from 2000 to 2015. I moved to um, New York City from Bangladesh in 2000 when I was only 21 year old. As soon as I arrived in New York City, I started working hard to earn GED. And in 2004, I finally earned GD. I started my educational journey with Board of Manhattan Community College. After spending two years at BMCC, I moved to your college. And over the next few years, I have earned five bachelor's degree, respectively, from your college, City College of New York and Limon College in five different subjects political science, economics, mathematics, computer science, and physics. I also earned two master's degree, one from Brooklyn College and one from New York University as a Crisp Scholar. Currently, I work as a physics teacher at Brooklyn Tech, one of the specialized high schools here in New York City, and as a math teacher here at City University of New York, Bronx Community College. It's surprising how a lifelong security guard ended up becoming a teacher who inspired thousands of his students to fall in love with math to fall in love with physics, to fall in love with computer science. It is very surprising how a lifelong security guard ended up become a very successful teacher. Can it inspire a student to pursue their career in math or science? How a lifelong security guard ended up become a very successful teacher 
who already planted the dream in the mind of many student to become the next Sir Isaac Newton, the greatest mathematician of all time. So over the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you my story. How City University of New York and New York University made me a teacher. How I use this space of City University of New York and New York University to become a teacher. And then I'll tell you the story how I use Jadwin Hall, Fine Hall, Princeton University as a space to inspire thousands of students to fall in love with math. I graduated from your college. Uh, however, I remember your college for a different reason. Uh, one uh, uh, while uh, pursuing my degree at your college, I used to work as a security guard. I used to work night shift, 12 to 8 every night. Um, so, and I used to take the classes in the day. So I used to have very difficult time staying awake in the classroom. Uh, however, I managed to um, I managed to complete my degree at your college. Running my bachelor degree from your college, I got accepted at Brooklyn College to pursue uh, a master pursue a master's degree in political science. After the completion of all the course requirements, uh, I had to write a master's thesis. I chose Dr. Anger, Dr. Mark Anger, as my thesis advisor, and he asked me to write a master's thesis in Grameen Bank. Uh, my job was to uh, my job was to write the story of Dr. Yunus and how he used microcredit to help poor women to break the cycle of poverty. My job was to translate Dr. Yunus's um, work in terms of economics. Um, however, I did not have any economics background and I did not have strong math background. So I decided to take economics and math class and I realized that I do not have a strong background. So I told Dr. Anga that uh, that I need to pursue a second bachelor degree in economics. I decided to pause my master's degree at Brooklyn College and pursue my second bachelor degree in economics at City College, uh, known as CCNY. Uh, meanwhile, I lost my security job. It's because at Scotia Bank, my security supervisor saw me reading book twice. Uh, that's why he fired me. Now, I had no security job, no money coming from the work. I had a family, my wife and my elder son. I had to feed the family and I still had to continue my education. So I was in a very difficult situation. Uh, I still remember there were days when I used to walk from my home to all the way city college. However, those were golden days. I still remember I used to walk miles while talking to myself, either memorizing economics theory or perfecting my English. <coughs> One day, I decided to go to city college public safety office and I met with Mr. White, the director of city college public safety. I told him my situation, asking him give, give, to give me a job, showing him my security license. He gave me a job. However, my wife did not like that because my wife said that if you take a job at City College as a student of City College, then all the professors will end up seeing you working as a security guard. Even your classmates will see you. That not a big, big thing. You will be very embarrassed. Um, I did not have luxury to listen to my wife. I took the security job because I had no choice. Mr. White put me in the Marshall building where I had to work from 12 to 8 shift. Uh, so one day I was um, sitting, uh, sitting on the security lobby and uh, and uh, and and all of a sudden, I saw um, a familiar face returning to uh, to the Marshall building, and I realized that he forgot his umbrella. And uh, 
and soon and 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 I I immediately realized that he was no other. Uh, I immediately realized that he was Mr. Yukako. and he took my umbrella. Few days later, I saw him again on the same lobby. That time, I had a long conversation with him. That two minutes conversation really changed my life. Doctor Misukaku asked me to take a class with him, a physics class. That taking a physics class with Misukaku really changed my life. I remember I used to go to um, I used to go to second floor of Mush. I used to go to fourth floor of Mush Hall, and he's standing outside either outside of his office. Or he's staring uh, on his on his picture, hanging on the camp on the on the outside the department, and uh, that's how I fell in love with math, uh, especially physics and math. And after I complete after the completion of my degree in economics at City College, I decided to pursue my degree in math at Limon College. So I started my third bachelor's degree at Limon College. However, I, I, I lost my security job at City College because Mr. White caught me solving the problem on my job at least few times. So I started my new security job at Clinton Manor. Uh, a better schedule. So my schedule was to work as a security guard at Clinton Manor every weekend from 8 in the morning to 12 midnight. 16 hours on Saturday, 16 hours on Sunday and 8 hours on Friday. I did not have to work on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So these four days I had, all four days I had, all the time I had to spend at Lemon College, Leonard Life Library, and that's exactly what I did. I spent tons of time. I stayed in the Leonard Life Library and studied hours after hours. I was the only person on three bachelor degrees from Lemon College. This is the first time in the history of Lemon College. As a result, Lemon College hang my banner in front of Leonard Life Library and Limon College President Dr. Ricardo Fernandez wrote me a personal letter thanking me for being a very good student at Limon College. Limon College paved a way for me to get a scholarship at NYU. I also want to uh, Acknowledge one of the greatest teacher I have ever had is Dr. Daniel Cover, the f head of physics department at Limon College. Oh. I studied at NYU as a crisp scholar. I have received over eighty thousand dollars from NYU to pursue my second master's degree at NYU, and NYU really changed my life uh, because uh, crisp scholarship allowed me to finally take care of my family and at that time we decided to um, we decided to have our next baby and and my wife got pregnant and Isaac was born when I was at NYU there that that was the happiest moment when Isaac was born so we were happy again so NYU really changed my life one day uh, doctor uh, Kath and Dr. Wallace said that um, said that they have a job for me uh, and the job was to teach physics at one of the charter school in the Bronx. I was so happy that uh, my eyes, both eyes filled with tears, a lifelong security guard, a man who never have imagined to do anything else except security now. Soon gonna start teaching physics. That was unbelievable for me. And the NYU, my NYU professor threw a, a party for me. And that was a dancing, singing, enjoying party. And that was the happiest moment of my life. So NYU not only paved uh, the way for me to 
become a teacher but also changed my life that also paved the way for me to get a job uh, uh, with summer institute for gifted and talented my job was to teach some of the gifted and talented students at Princeton in the summer I still remember I just feedback from them and that paved the way for me to supervise genius Yeah. So, is the time is just when we start riding on the boat. And many, uh, many, uh, many things to Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, you can use everything. We'll start that clock once you uh, start the problem. Yeah. Uh, to, uh, to, to inspire my student. So, uh, genius competition, my student compete with each other to win. Einstein statue. One student end up winning Einstein statue, but everyone, by going through the process of winning or competing with each other, end up falling in love with math. And that's why the genius competition really, really changed the life of many of my students. Many of my students uh, wrote me a letter, uh, even months after the completion of the course telling me that how grateful they are that they will now want to pursue their career in either math or physics um, so Princeton University which I use as a math space to inspire many students to fall in love with mathematics I planted a dream in the mind of many of my students that they too can become the next Sir Isaac Newton, the greatest mathematician of all time. So I just finished teaching uh, Math 23, which is statistics. Now I'm on my way to teach uh, Math 05. So, uh, by the way, I hope my story will inspire others. Uh, not to give up. I hope my studio will inspire others to work hard to accomplish the goal. I hope my studio will inspire others to understand that uh, no matter what it is possible to accomplish the goal, if you stay focused and work hard, especially here in America. <laughs>